A product that once looked like the new gold rush left many looking to cash in going bust. A new report finds that 90% of all hemp farmers in Arizona failed between 2019 and 2021. Team Charles Michael Doudna went to learn why and what the future holds for this business. Through the thicket of tall cannabis leaves, you can find Dan Nowell. That's beautiful. For Dan, all of this green represents potential gold. This is what you're growing. This is hemp. It's a cannabis plant that lacks the THC to be called marijuana. It usually grows taller and has different uses. There's hemp twine, hemp utensils, hemp straws. But back in 2019, many hemp farmers jumped into the market with a focus on one particular product, CBD. CBD was uh, like this gold rush, right? And you're racing and say, hey, there's a ton of gold in that mountain over there. What I think happened is a lot of farmers saw an ability to grow a commodity crop at basically illegal drug prices. That's ASU professor Ken Sweat, who helped study the hemp market. They found that between 2019 and 2021, 90% of all Arizona hemp farmers went bust. And the failure is caused uh, really by a lack of research in both the seed quality, you know, like that the farmer use, as well as the lack of research in the grow environment. ASU professor Max Lung says the study found multiple pitfalls, from seeds that wouldn't grow in our heat, to those that had too much THC and had to be destroyed, to those who made it through but found the CBD market didn't produce the profits they expected. It was chasing the wrong product with the wrong seed. So now this six-acre farm is an exception. See, Dan decided to work with classic salads and made CBD more of an afterthought, instead focusing on all the different products that hemp can make. 15 years from now, I hope, I hope 50% of everything you see has something related to hemp in it. For now, though, well, the Arizona hemp industry is small. But Dan believes that one day, that these green stalks will strike it rich. I don't know if I'll get to see it in my lifetime. I, I hope I get to be a big part of it, but, but I think it's coming. Michael Doudna, 12 News.